Oh, there's yeah, the 24k ones, aren't they? And 30 I haven't put the um, starting. I've got 130 optimised on, on this. I've got two. going on optimised 60 30 routes. I've got an unoptimised 60 days Let's have a look at the task for today. So we're taking off here, D01. There's a 24 kilometre radius on the start cylinder. Then we leave, go to the west, just past the dam. And then back over the east, back over the high call where we went yesterday. Another turn point here, just in front of the hill at Bordano out to the right on this really scary big ridge here and then all the way up to the northeast up here past Tolmezzo which is where we're staying uh, to here and then back again turn point here uh, back to the airfield here out in the flats and then to the landing there so it's quite a long task today I forgot what it is it's 138 kilometers or something like that uh, into some bigger mountains a little bit more scary here a bit more exciting. So that's today's task. Uh, it's time for me to get ready now and get in the air. See you in there. So I'm just waiting for my turn to take off now. Sorry. Basically, Darren, we've got once the green pilot goes, yeah. Yeah. we'll move Manuel up. Yeah. And then, and then me. I'll up. start following up. Right. Okay. okay. So I'm waiting for my turn to take off. Like I said yesterday, it is an ordered launch, so we have a certain order to take off on, initially based on our world ranking positions. Yesterday I was number 52 to take off. Uh, today it's based on how we came in the competition yesterday, so now I am 43 to take off. So I've improved my position a little bit. Um, I'm about to take off in a second. Uh, this is the nervous bit. So talking to you actually helps me calm my nerves and takes my mind off it. It's a big wind up, all these pilots jumping off into the sky. Uh, really exciting. And I'm looking forward to today's task, which is, as I said before, quite a long one. Uh, right, it's time for me to start moving, I think. We're ready. Ready. Championships. One thing people often talk about is how scary it is flying with so many other gliders. I don't want to fly with all that traffic this year. It's really scary. And yes, it is a bit daunting. However, whilst you can see loads of gliders on my camera, I don't have to worry about most of them. The only really need to worry about Everyone's at the same level. 
and everyone's fighting to stay high. We're at just over 7,000 feet. Back at 7,000 feet, one minute, 16 seconds. One minute, 16 seconds to go. <laughs> One minute, one minute. Come on Darren, stay high for this bit. Hello! Thirty-three seconds. Okay. Eighteen seconds. I'm on my way. Three, two, one, go! I don't 
think we're in Kansas anymore, Dorothy! This is Big Mountain Country! Super scary! No landings! OMG! OMG! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! I don't believe it! Woo-hoo-hoo! This is scary, scary, scary! So I've climbed up on Jimona. Climbed up on Jimona from less than 3,000 up to 6,700. And now I'm headed on to the back mountain where there are not really any landing options. But that's where the turn point is. And I can see people climbing ahead of me. So that's where I'm headed. meters from the turn point and five meters waypoint made around we go I think that's the third turn point and then back again to this back ridge I need a climb on this ridge now but then again so does everybody else and there are people climbing it's just a bit of a wind up. It's all just a bit scary. I wish I could fly right up to the sky, but I can't. You can't? I can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm flying in the sky. I have reached all the way to the sky. Right, I'm going to concentrate now so that I don't end up been in trouble. When you're at 6,000 feet and it feels low, that's when you know you're in the big mountains. Oh, I've got a gaggle in front of me. Oh, 
over here, following that gaggle of gliders. Gordon's in that gaggle somewhere. I'm hoping they're going to find a climb for me pretty soon and get me back up again. <laughs> it's looking good, Gordon's climbing, I can see him. Here we go. On the final glide now, I require 8.7 to get to go. That's glide angle of 8.7 to 1. I'm at 4,300 4, feet. Trying to eke it out because it's reportedly quite difficult. Andy's landed, Gary's landed, Dave is, I think, about to land. Gordon and Grant are both in goal. We need to get a third British team member in goal, and that's my job. I'm going to do my best. The numbers are getting better. It's, I set off on 9.5. I'm now on 8.5. But I'm just going to take it nice and steady. The important thing is to get to goal now. 200 metres to the final turn point. And then it's into a goal. Woohoo! This has been some fly. <laughs> and I'm going to get to goal. 7.5 glide angle required. I should make it. I'm round the turn point, final glide into goal now, to the landing field. Let's see if I can get there. I should get there. Taking it steady. I do not want to lose this. I just can't hide it. I think I've got to go and I think I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Come in for landing. Try and get this right after such a good flight. So a bit of an epic flight there, go to goal again, I am mega players, this is Angladin, this is the World Championships and we're going for it, yeah!